Yeah, you might think this is funny. It's all about pizza. This is his livelihood. He's literally losing his job, his passion. He would have had his entire life because he chose to eat pizza instead of chicken salad. Coach Greg, and in today's video, a football star gets kicked off the team for choosing pizza over chicken salad. At what point are they going too far? Controlling our daily lives. It's one thing to get tested for PD saying, hey, you can't take these things. Another thing to say, hey, you have to take these things. As in, you have to get that jab. You, you have to. But when they start to control what you can or cannot eat, is that not going too far? And so this happened to a USFL player. It's not the NFL. And frankly, imagine this happening in the NFL. And the things people have done in the NFL, gotten away with it, turned a blind eye, allowing them to do whatever they want because they're a star super athlete. But in the USFL, if you want a slice of pizza, well, heavens forbid, you're going against team policy. This man's making a living by playing football. That's his work, his job. Imagine you go to work, your boss says, you can't have the pizza, you have to eat the chicken salad. Too bad. Is that not going too far? Well, he crossed the line. So we had to deal with it. And so the coach described, we're a team. We have certain rules we have to abide by. You can't disrespect anyone, whether it's the coaches, players, hotel members, no one. And so, okay, that sounds fair. But did he in fact disrespect anyone by saying, I don't want to eat chicken salad, I'd rather have pizza. And so the coach sits him down and says, due to your actions, you know, the pizza chicken salad incident, we're gonna have to let you go. It's for the good of the team. And so he's hearing this thinking, well, don't I get the chance to defend myself? Really? I'm gonna to explain to you what happened with the pizza chicken salad incident. I, I can tell you what happened exactly. It's not important. Right. It's not important. I don't it's, know. It's already happened. Right. Did you in fact interview this athlete? Your player on your team? The person in question? You're just listening to the bystander saying, oh, it's disrespectful because he refused to have the chicken salad. He wanted the pizza. It's disrespectful. And we have a policy. We don't disrespect people. Is it really disrespectful to say, I don't like chicken salad, I prefer pizza? Who the hell doesn't like eating pizza more than a chicken salad? And I do understand that in professional sports, they are going to have some clauses. Perhaps you can't race motorcycles, you can't go downhill skiing because we don't want you to get injured. We pay you $20 million a year. We don't want you to do things that could lead you to getting injured. But is telling someone what they're allowed to eat, not what allowed to eat, is that not going too far? Imagine if they were to cut DK Metcalf. We watched you in that YouTube video describing how you eat candies and, and we're done with you because you're not eating healthy food. You're not a good representation. What if other people see this? They might say, oh, DJ Metcalf, he eat all those candies. I'm gonna eat gummy words, skip meals. And so your bad image influence on the team, we're letting you go, DK Metcalf, because you eat too many candies. Walked in with pizza and I was like, can I get a slice of pizza? He said, no. I was like, he said, is that going to be a problem? I said, yes. And so they offered him up chicken salad and he said, can I get another option? They said, no. He saw someone else eating pizza and says, can I get that? No, you have to eat chicken salad. Is there going to be a problem? Well, well, yeah, I don't like chicken salad. It's a problem for me because I don't like that. I don't want to eat it. What if he were vegan? Don't want chicken salad. I'm not going to eat that. Would they then kick him off the team for being a vegan? You're going to give me chicken salad? I'll eat tuna salad, but I don't like chicken. I'm vegetarian. What if he's vegan? Can't eat chicken or tuna. Could he eat the pizza? What if he has a gluten intolerance? You're going to eat that? No, I'm gluten intolerant. Too bad you're off the team. You refuse to eat what we gave you. This is ridiculous. I mean, it's one thing to say you're kicked off the team for abusing someone, cursing them out, swearing, punching the guy. He simply said, no, I don't want to eat the chicken salad. I want the pizza. He didn't say F you. He didn't use any disparaging language. And so in my eyes, this is going too far. To say you're kicked off the team because you're violating policies because you ate pizza? Really? He said, is that going to be a problem? I said, yes. That's all I said. I didn't say no cuss word, nothing. That's all I said. I promise you, no disrespect on my dad's life. I promise you I didn't say nothing disrespectful besides yes. And so he swears on his dad's life. 
He didn't cuss, swear, curse anyone out, not being disrespectful, simply saying, I want the pizza that I see that person eating, so I know it's there, and I don't want to eat the chicken salad. Perhaps he hates the mayonnaise. I don't know. Personally, I like a chicken salad, but that's irrelevant. I don't think this is crossing the line. Certainly not enough for someone to lose their job. They didn't say, you're getting a little chubby, you can't run the 40 fast enough, we're trying to help you to lose weight. They said, nope, you're off the team for the good of the team. We can't have this attitude, this questioning what we say. If we say jump, you say how high. You don't say why, you just do it. And I appreciate you sharing that, but the matters, it's done. He doesn't appreciate shit. He doesn't appreciate anything. You just tell him, you're off the team. I don't care what you say. I don't care what excuse you have. The decision has already been made. We didn't ask your opinion on what you did or why. You're just off the team because you don't fit into the mold of this franchise. Why? Because the guy likes to eat pizza. And so he puts his head into his hands. And yeah, you might think this is funny. It's all about pizza. This is his livelihood. He's literally losing his job, his passion. He would have had his entire life because he chose to eat pizza instead of chicken salad. Yeah. I appreciate you being shared, but good luck. Coach says, yep, it's over. It's decided. Appreciate all your sharing. Good luck. Bye. Takes off. Really? Is that the kind of attitude that you want? Who's being more disrespectful? Him for saying, I want to eat pizza and not tuna salad? Or the team for not giving him the freaking pizza? Someone's feelings hurt feelings or a distant second to the greater good of the team. Someone's feelings, the, the hurt, the fact that he's going to lose his job, that he no longer can play in the sport that he loves, that's, that's a distant second to the good of the team. Really? Imagine, imagine if we applied these same principles to children in our schools. Oh, you're struggling? You're a slow learner? Too bad you're kicked out of school. It's for the greater good. We only want the smartest, most talented students in this class. You're weak? You're struggling? You're gone. We don't need it. You misbehave in class? You're out. You're kicked out of school forever. Bye. We don't need ya. It's for the greater good of the rest of the school. Or... Do we understand that people have individual needs? That not everyone learns the same way? That people needed to be treated differently? That treating everyone the same isn't always the right way to do things? That some people have certain special needs? Perhaps he needs pizza. If he wants a pizza, give him the pizza, let him play. He's not being disrespectful, he's not being an a-hole. And so why are we kicking a guy out for wanting pizza? And we've moved on and turned that page and I'm happy we did it. And so the coach, He's happy we did it. Moved on, turning the page. Perhaps the coach had a grudge against him. It had to be more than just the pizza. Perhaps there was incidents in practice. We don't know the whole story. Perhaps the coach didn't like him. Perhaps had a grudge against him from day one. Because if you kick someone off of a team for eating the wrong kind of food, that is going too far. And so in the USFL, according to this team, you're disrespecting the staff if you tell them the type of food that you want to eat. Imagine this applying in the NFL. Imagine telling DK Metcalf, we do not allow you to eat gummy worms for supper, to fast and have your coffee and do what you're doing. We saw you in that interview and we decided for the good of the team, we gots to let you go. Don't care if you can run the 40 in 4.3. Don't care how many footballs you can catch. Don't care how many touchdowns you can make. You're off the team because you're disrespecting the game. Look at how you're eating. It's a bad image to the sport. It's being disrespectful, bragging, you can eat whatever you want. You're all shredded. You got what, negative body fat? You're just like Ronnie Coleman. And so we had enough of you. You are gone. Imagine if they did this, they wouldn't because the NFL are not led by a bunch of idiots. They know this is not good. This is not the way you should do it. And so let me know in the comment section, should professional sports teams be allowed to control what their athletes eat or don't eat? Can they have in clauses? You can't eat pizza. You can't gain a certain amount of weight. You have to do a certain amount of cardio. It's part of the rules. You can't go above X percent body fat. Is that going too far? Can you control what they eat or drink? You're not allowed to have Coke. You can only have Diet Pepsi. Can they do that? 
They're paying them the big bucks, 20, 30 million dollars a year. But does that give them the right to tell them what they can or cannot eat? Ending it here. And please join the newsletter list. We have nearly 200,000 people. We're giving away five free recipes, giving away free stuff all the time as well. We're giving away free training programs, free, free diet programs. They're almost ready. We're gonna be giving them to everyone. And so if you want something free beyond just the videos, please join the newsletter by clicking the link in the description. And also while you're there, check out the harder than last time supplements, including the turkesterone, the creatines, the pre-workout, stim, pump, the circle diet book, the cookbooks, the coaching plans by me and my team, training books, the bloops as per usual. Please watch those. And until next time, Buy my freaking cookbook and follow me at Greg Doucette IB Pro on Instagram. And until next time, I'm out.